Hi guys, Cindy here from Pleasant Sims. Welcome to part three of episode 49 of my Pleasant View Let's Play. Today we are back here in the Ramirez household. It's about 4 p.m. on Friday afternoon and we are just gonna pick up exactly where we left off in part two of this episode and we are getting ready to finish out the week for the Ramirez's. When Tessa got home from school today, she decided she wanted to go and sell some lemonade in the front yard and she has herself a customer. She just made 15 simoleons from selling lemonade, uh, just like her dad. No, we don't want to subscribe to the magazine. Well, music and dance, maybe we do want to subscribe to that because Tessa likes music and dance, so she could read that. So yes, we're going to subscribe to the music and dance magazine. I'm going to have to get a magazine holder so they're not all over the place. And Lisa still just wants to cook, creativity, see a ghost, be saved from death. Uh, maybe we could take her to the cemetery tonight and see if she can see a ghost. And maybe that'll fulfill that want for her. They still have had no family-related wants. It's so strange. It's like they don't even have a secondary aspiration because they get no wants from that. And Chico has a bunch of wants that are really hard to uh, fulfill. Oh, look, Malcolm bought some lemonade. How cute is that? Um, he does want to be BFFs with Tessa, so maybe I can get him to come and talk to her. Stop playing video games and spend some time with your family. Um, I suppose that's a family-related want, so that's kind of nice that he has that. She's going to shut down the old lemonade stand for the time and talk to her dad. She also wants to be BFFs with him, so that's nice. And she wants to ask for homework help. Maybe she could ask Chico to help her with her homework after she goes to the bathroom. And it is 6 p.m. now. Another day has passed. So Chico is 47 years old, Lisa is 45, and Tessa is 10 years old now. Oh, wow, that did not go well. <laughs> They had a negative interaction there. I don't know what was going on with that. Um, but she is going to ask him for homework help so they can spend a little bit more time together. And she's almost friends with Faith Landgrab. And I really like that because she and Faith both live here in Blue Water Village. So they could they would easily be friends and they could visit each other's houses easily. So we'll probably work on that relationship uh, the next time she has a desire to make a friend or play. Lisa's over here making spaghetti for dinner. Chico thinks it smells really good. <laughs> it is Saturday afternoon and the Ramirez has had to hire a gardener because their front yard was getting pretty bad. And Chico had the want to go and sell lemonade again. So we had to clean up the yard first because I felt really weird about him being out there in the trashy yard selling his lemonade. Look how happy it makes him. It's so adorable, so I just let him do it. Look, he wants to call a relative. Um, so they still haven't had any wants to have a baby. But uh, Tessa is learning to play the piano. She loves arts and crafts, or not arts and crafts, music and dance. So she's had a lot of wants to get creativity skill, and she's been working on that. She has level two now, and she's almost to level three. Lisa still just wants to gain skills and see a ghost. If she still wants to see a ghost at around 7 p.m. tonight, I think I'm going to send her to the cemetery and see what's going to happen. And Chico's just selling lemonade in the front yard. <laughs> he still wants to get his sales talent badge. I'm not going to send them back to the furniture store this weekend. They do have a little cash on them, so they have enough to get them through the weekend. And it looks like Chico's getting a customer here. Andrea Hogan is going to buy a cup of his sweet, tasty lemonade. All right, Chico. 15 simoleons. Oh, now he wants to be friends with... Oh, that's Andrea. He wants to be friends with Olga. So he wants to do nothing that I want him to do. Maybe I'll have him go and spend some time with Tessa now. Okay, so we just found out that Lisa's hobby is tinkering, and I am having her repair the upstairs shower. Um, and Chico's hobby is arts and crafts. Um, he loves art. He's constantly going around the house and looking at all of their paintings and stuff. He loves it. Um, he hasn't had any wants to actually create any art on his own, but he certainly loves looking at it. Here, view this piece of art, Chico. I think that suits him. And he likes every piece of art he looks at, too. It doesn't matter how tacky it is. He likes it, just because it's art. <laughs> 
And Lisa likes tinkering. She did not get this uh, shower repaired, so I'm going to keep having her try. Um, both she and Chico want to be BFFs with Tessa, and I think that's their family uh, side coming out. They haven't had any desire to increase their family. And Tessa is learning the piano, and she's getting very good at it. She's also exhausted. We need to take care of some of her needs. And I need to check on the puppy. Oh, he's hungry and tired. Let's make sure he has food. He does not. So I'm going to send Chico down to feed him. And another day has passed at 7 p.m. Um, and we are about to send Lisa to the cemetery in the hopes that she might see a ghost tonight. Right now, everyone's ages are Chico is 48, Lisa is 46, and Tessa is 11. Tomorrow, Tessa will be aging up to a teen. So that's going to be really exciting. Um, for now, though, Lisa's going to stop what she's doing. Oh, she's going to take a shower. Okay, after she gets out of the shower, then we're headed to the cemetery. Okay, here we are at the Pleasant View Cemetery. We do have several graves here. We have a Coral and Herb Oldie. We have Michael Batchelor, and we have Mortimer Goth here. So, all of these graves have produced ghosts before I sent them here, and I am really hopeful that some of the ghosts will come out tonight so Lisa can see one and fulfill that want. Oh, look, Lisa, it looks like you're gaining more, some fame now. More and more people are starting to see that you're a good sim. Some good things may be coming your way. And she met this townie who said, you're simply the coolest sim I've met in ages. I'm going to spread the word to everyone I know. Lisa, your reputation is on its way up. Good for you, Lisa. She's a very nice sim. Oh, look, there's my sim self here. Um, I guess I'm coming to see if I can see some ghosts as well. And if none of these ghosts come out, maybe we'll send her to the cemetery downtown. I really want to fulfill this want for her to get it off of her wants panel here and open up the way for some new family-related wants. All right, it's after midnight and none of the ghosts have appeared. Um... The unsavory charlatan is here. So I'm worried she's not going to see one. So I'm going to have her go downtown to the Gothier Green Lawns, I believe it's called. And see if we can see a ghost there. Watch, there'll probably be a ghost pop out as soon as I start to leave. So we're going to go downtown. Here, green and peace go hand in hand. And Gothier Green is just that place. Peaceful and green. So when it's your time, rest in peace. So when it's your time, rest in peace. I think that should say, so when it's your time to rest in peace, think green, think gothier. <laughs> so she's going to go there. Eighty-five simoleons to drive downtown. Man, gas is expensive around here. We have arrived at the gothier green lawns. And hopefully a ghost is going to come out. There are several ghosts here of the Tricot family. And I know these ghosts do appear. Um, whether or not they're going to appear for us tonight, we'll just have to wait and see. Bobby Broke is here. Maybe he wants to see a ghost too. Okay, guys, it's 2.21 and it's creepy and spooky and raining and a ghost has appeared. Uh, Kiernan, Kiernan Trico has appeared. So she was going to go grill some hamburgers because she's hungry. Stop that and get over here. I want her to go over here and let's see if she can see the ghost. Oh no, did he go back in his grave? No, he's out. He's out. Okay, so she's approaching. Let's see if she's going to notice him. She just walked right by him and you can't select them. So just stop here. She's looking right at him and she does not see him. <laughs> she wants to slow dance with a sim. I'm locking that in because that might lead to more romantic interactions between her and Chico. But she totally did not see this ghost. So I'm going to keep trying. 
Okay guys, it's 5.08 in the morning and it finally happened. I had her just follow this ghost around all night and she finally saw him and he scared her. So she got her want fulfilled. Check this out, she's terrified, but also happy because she's a knowledge sim and it doesn't scare them to death like it does the other sims. I basically just had her go everywhere he was going and just stand in his uh, path and eventually he scared her. <laughs> So if you are trying to have your sim see a ghost, just follow him around. Okay, so she is starving, exhausted, but she got her wish. Hopefully she won't keep having a wish to see a ghost. Hopefully that will get it all out of her system. I'm going to send her home now to go to bed. It is Sunday afternoon. It's almost 3 p.m. and today is Tessa's birthday. She is going to be aging up to a teen at 12 years old. I know it doesn't look like it here, uh, but that's because I didn't fix her age in Sim PE to match my uh, realistic aging system, which means we're not going to have to worry about if we miss the 6 p.m. Uh, cutoff for her to age up at the cake. But I'm going to go ahead and throw her birthday party now. Um, I'm going to have... Lisa throw it, I think. So let's call, let's throw party. Um, oh, we can't throw, okay, we're gonna have to set it to her birthday. We can't throw a birthday party. So we are going to, we are going to shift click on her and click set to birthday. Okay, so now she's going to be ready to age up at 6 p.m., so I take back what I said there. And we're gonna have Lisa call and throw her party, and I think I don't think Lisa knows very many people in her generation, but let's see who we can invite. I know she knows Faith Landgrab. Um, Faith is not in Tessa's generation, but they're still kind of almost friends, so we're going to invite her anyway. Hurry up, Lisa. All right, so we are going to invite Faith Landgrab. And that's it. We're going to have to, uh, she doesn't even have any friends or anything to invite. We're going to have to summon over the other children in Tessa's generation. And she's going to have to spend a lot of time talking to Faith to try to keep the party uh, score up. So that's what we're doing. We're going to invite Faith just to get a party going. We're going to buy the birthday cake here. And then I'm going to summon over all the other children. Uh, there are a lot of kids in Tessa's generation. Okay, so we have summoned Rosa Lothario, David Dreamer, Vincent Broke, and Tabitha Broke. They are all in Tessa's generation. In addition, Sam Burb and Helen Dreamer are also in her generation, but because we haven't played them this round, they are still toddlers, so they're not going to be coming to the party. Um, I need Tessa to get off of the piano and come and greet her friends, most especially Faith Landgrab, because Faith is the only one we actually invited to the party, so she's the only one that counts when it comes to the party score. So hopefully everybody's going to have a really good time, and we're going to see Tessa age up uh, to a teen. It is 5 p.m. and in order to make sure we don't miss the 6 p.m. cutoff time, uh, we're going to go ahead and send Tessa over to her birthday cake to blow out the candles now. Uh, I was having her greet all of her guests so she can meet all the kids in her generation. Uh, she's meeting David now, but she needs to stop and go blow out her candles. So hopefully everybody comes on over to the kitchen. And I am so excited to see what she's going to look like as a teen. I think she's going to be really unique looking. Come on, gather around, family and new friends. And let's watch Tessa Ramirez age up. And hey, everybody's having a good time too. Come on, it takes them so long to blow out the candles. I'm always so nervous. She only has 15 minutes left, so come on. Make a wish, hurry up, hurry up. Here she goes. All right. Yay! 
<laughs> wow, she looks, she looks like Tessa. She looks like Tessa Ramirez. She has the same hair, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so we know that Tessa is going to be a popularity sim. So we're gonna go ahead and choose that for her. Her turn-ons are great cook and plant sim and her turn off is blonde hair. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna get rid of the plant simism because there aren't any plant sims um, and we'll choose a hair color. Um, I'll just choose brown hair for her. So she likes great cook and brown hair and she doesn't like blonde hair. And yes, we will also age up this little townie, Deborah Casey. Why not? Uh, Should have invited Deborah because Tessa knows her. All right, and where did she go? Because I really want to look at her face. Tessa has grown into a teenager. As a child, Tessa achieved the aspiration level of child prodigy. That's fantastic. Life for Tessa couldn't get any better. Tessa is very uh, creative. She's very musically talented. Chico, get out of the way so I can see. She also has a very expressive face. I love her eyes. I love her. I love the way she looks. Um, as soon as she gets done with her cake, which it looks like she's done now, let's look at her outfit. Oh, Chico. Chico, you stink. You need to go take a shower. You're grossing out all the kids. I think her outfit is okay. I mean, it's not the cutest thing in the world, but it's what she chose. And it doesn't look too bad together. She chose this uh, t-shirt with the flower on it and these cargo pants. I'm going to let her keep it. I mean, it doesn't look completely horrible, so I'm going to let her keep it. And we're going to... Is she wearing makeup? It looks like she might be wearing makeup. That's odd. Um, we're going to go look at her in the mirror and see if we can fix her up a little bit. All right, so here's Tessa's face. Now, she is wearing some blush and some kind of lipstick. I don't know what kind of lipstick she's wearing. It doesn't look like she has anything on, but she obviously does. She's wearing, like, this color, and it doesn't look very good on her at all. So I'm going to change that. Okay, so I changed Tessa's makeup a little bit. I gave her a little bit of mascara. I let her keep the weird blush she was wearing, and I changed up her lip color. Um, I think she looks pretty cute. She likes her new look. She's looking in the mirror now. This hair she has has some really weird transparency going on. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't love that. It's kind of annoying, especially when you're trying to take screenshots. I think I'm going to go back in and change her hair. And here is our final outcome. Look how adorable she looks with this new hair color. So she, new hair color, new hairstyle. So she liked short hair with kind of like some bangs in her eyes. So I let her keep that. This is a custom hairstyle that I have. It still has some transparency things going on. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that, but it looks a lot better than the other hairstyle. And look how cute she looks with that hair. Oh, I love her. So this is Tessa Ramirez as a teen. I'm just in love with her. And here is Tessa from head to toe. Um, this is the <laughs> this is the outfit that she chose. But she's a teenager, and I'm sure she'll choose better clothing when she ages up to an adult. And I just want to check to see if her. Uh, interests have changed any. Of course, now she wants to have three best friends. I'm going to lock that in for her and all that fun popularity sim stuff. Popularity sims are actually really fun to play, in my opinion. She had an A plus in school, so she was doing really good as a child. Um, let's see. Oh, look at that. She's got her card to the secret lot. And her interests have changed a lot. She now is interested in politics, money, culture, crime, Wow. Weather, school, work. She has a lot of interest. And I'm really surprised that she's so interested in politics and money, but I guess that's the influence of her father on her culture. That doesn't surprise me. Um, so yeah, that is Tessa. She's all aged up to a teen, and I can't wait to get her into the Pleasant View story. And as we play the Pleasant View family, she'll be coming in and uh, playing more of a part now that she's a teenager. Oh my god, check it out, guys. It finally happened. Chico wants to have a baby. 
we are gonna lock that in for him immediately so that the next time we play the Ramirez family, we're gonna have another baby. It just took Tessa growing up. Like, I guess he didn't want two kids in the house. Um, Lisa still doesn't actually have the want, but I think Chico's gonna be able to talk her into it. Now they don't have their little baby girl anymore, and the house is gonna feel a lot more empty whenever she's gone, so they're gonna start thinking about and talking about having another baby. They still have plenty of time. Our final ages for this round are Chico is 49, Lisa is 47, and Tessa is 12 years old. So Lisa will be having a baby when she's in her early 50s. <laughs> But that's okay, because that's just how things work in The Sims 2. Um, we're going to go ahead and continue the birthday party. We only have about 44 seconds left. I don't know where Tessa went. Oh, she went to bed. She fell asleep in her own, uh, in her own party. Who's this guy that just walked in the door? Leland Kirby? Is he crashing our 12-year-old's uh, birthday party? Well, all the kids are having a great time down here and playing video games. It looks like the uh, stereo broke. And poor Tessa, she just got so tired, she had to go to bed. But despite that, the birthday party is still going to be a good time. Okay, the birthday party rocked. Great job. And now I'm just going to take care of everybody's needs and going to send the Ramirez family to bed. This has been a really good episode uh, to get us acquainted with the family. They still haven't fixed this. I'm going to send Lisa up there to work on it some more. Chico and Lisa have still been working on their furniture store. And they had a little struggle there uh, with their employee losing their employee and running out of money. But they got it together in the end. And I think they are going to be successful. Uh, oh, she was in the bathtub. <laughs> she was in there. Sorry, Lisa. And then, of course, we had Tessa age up. Now, I want to uh, remodel her room because this room looks like a little girl's room. And her favorite color is green because she aged up in a green shirt. So next time we play, I'm going to be remodeling her room uh, for her teenage years. Chico and Lisa are going to be trying for a baby. I'm so excited. I want them to have a little boy to inherit the store. And I know some people were saying, couldn't Tessa inherit the store? Yeah, she could. But I play with patriarchy rules, so I would rather a son inherit it because I'm going to marry Tessa out into another family and she's going to leave this household. Um, but if it doesn't happen, if they only have girls, then a girl will inherit. So that's it, guys. I'm going to send these, uh, these guys to bed. Oh, you can go have a piece of cake first. And this is going to end uh, the final part of the Ramirez family, episode 49. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell if you want to know when I upload new videos. You can also visit my blog at PleasantSims.com if you want to see uh, more information about the mods I use or if you want to read my gameplay rules. I also have custom content there, tutorials, downloads, a whole bunch of Sims 2 stuff, so feel free to visit me there. You can also follow me on social media. I am on Twitter and I'm on Instagram and I am also on Pinterest and I'm going to be pinning all of my favorite custom content on my Pinterest page. Feel free to follow me there. And I will see you guys with the next episode where I'm going to be playing the Burb family very soon. Thanks for watching.